All right, welcome back to Fox 8 News in the morning. Hope you're having a great start to your Wednesday morning. So, have you been enjoying maybe some fresh herbs coming out of your garden this summer? I know a lot of people were all home more, so we're kind of focusing on things at home. So, maybe this is your year for your garden. Today, we're showing you a couple easy ways to preserve those fresh herbs so then you can use them all winter long, which is exciting stuff. Stephanie Paganini joins us live with the very latest. Hi, Steph, how are you? It's good to see you as always. Hi, Steph. It's wonderful to see you. I'm happy to be coming to you from Akazi. And, you know, when we talk about herbs all summer, we've been really enjoying the flavors of those fresh herbs. And I have right here a recipe that incorporates those fresh herbs by mixing them in with your flour and then breading a pork chop, cooking that pork chop, and then I have it served with a corn and tomato hash, a little fresh basil on top for a garnish. But this is how we've been really enjoying our herbs this summer. But guess what? It's fall season, it's pumpkin spice latte season, and it's time for us to think about how do we transition our fresh herbs into our kitchen for winter long. So we have the fresh version here, but what do we do with all of these beautiful fresh herbs that we're harvesting out of our garden? I have some tips and tricks for you on how to keep your herbs all winter long. So the easiest way is to chop up your herbs, place them in an ice tray, with a little bit of water and throw that in your freezer. Once your ice cubes are frozen, you can pop them out, put them in a plastic bag to save room in your freezer, and then just take the ice-filled herbs um, and put them into your recipe whenever you want. But this is a wasted opportunity. Water adds no flavor to your recipe and sometimes does more harm by adding more water to it. So instead of using water in your ice cube tray, you could use olive oil and blend the oil and the herbs together. You could use chicken stock or vegetable stock. So you're adding that little hit of wonderful flavor into your recipe when you add those herbs. Or of course, you can mix it with butter, freeze it in your ice cube tray, and put it in that bag just like the others. Now, speaking about butter, if you want to do something kind of fancy, maybe you might have one or two people over, um, you're gonna take your butter, blend it in your KitchenAid or your food processor, with some fresh herbs, put it in plastic wrap and roll it up into a tube. Let this chill either in your refrigerator or in your freezer if you wanna keep it for a few months. And you've got what we call compound butter, which is a fancy way of saying stuff stuck in butter. So we could cut this up, slice it, and you can serve this um, with toast or put this on top of a, maybe you're still grilling, to grill a nice steak and you put a little compound herb butter right on top that it melts as the people are cutting up and eating their steak. So we've got that wonderful compound butter you can use. And then, of course, we've got some other options for you. This is one I love to play with, which is taking salt. This is just kosher salt. Taking some herbs like parsley, maybe a little garlic, blending these together in the food processor, and you end up with an herb salt. This has to be refrigerated, and it only lasts about a week in your refrigerator. But think about if you're making, if this is cilantro and you're making tacos or you're making enchiladas and you sprinkle a little cilantro garlic salt on top of that as you're finishing it. And then we have some vinegar. Vinegar is a great way to store your herbs, especially fresh herbs, because it uh, is antimicrobial. So it's going to keep it from spoiling or rotting. Take whatever herbs you want. Maybe you want a flavor. This is just a white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar or champagne vinegar. And then you want to take just a bunch of fresh herbs. These are some chives, which are going to have a nice little oniony flavor. And you could basically infuse those into your vinegar. This keeps in your refrigerator for about three months. And you can use this wonderful vinegar as a salad dressing. So this would be the base along with your oil to make your at-home vinaigrette. If you want to just dry your herbs, then you got to think about which herbs are really great for drying. And we have here some great drying herbs. Bay leaves are super good. They're expensive to buy. You use maybe one or two in a recipe throughout the year. Um, so take these, spread them out on a wide surface, and really let them dry out. You have to make sure your herbs are dried. Otherwise, they might mold when you store them in something as simple as a plastic bag. Rosemary time. Those work great. You just take some kitchen twine, wrap them up. You can even hang them upside down like you see in those fancy French kitchens uh, in the magazines. And then the last way that you can preserve your herbs is in oil. Here's my warning to you. 
fresh herbs in oil is potentially a problem in growing bacteria. So if you're gonna make an oil like the pretty ones you see on the counter where you've got uh, herbs sitting in oil, make sure those herbs are dried herbs. Don't use fresh herbs for that. But if you want to blend, this is olive oil and parsley. You want to do a nice little blend of olive oil and parsley. This will keep in your refrigerator for about a week. And then look how fancy your plate can look by Ooh. just dripping a little of this on your pretty plate, okay? Gorgeous. So this way, you know, if you're not going out to restaurants yet, you can get that plate presentation that you see in the restaurants. Basil is a great one for that kind of finishing oil. Parsley is too, but remember if you're using fresh herbs, in the refrigerator for that oil and only keep it about a week or two. Uh, great ideas, and I love the ice tray too and not using the water with the other ideas and the salt and everything else. Thank you so much. Sure. I, I'm, I might try to bring my herbs inside too. Um, we'll see how you that You really goes. want to. This is my basil, and unfortunately I didn't catch it in time. Once it starts growing the flowers, yes. it becomes bitter. So catch it, harvest it now before it goes bad, and you'll have wonderful fresh herb flavor throughout the winter without the price of buying it in the supermarket. You and AJ Petiti do a great job with always reminding us Aww, to do all of that stuff. So <laughs> Thank you so much, Steph. All fantastic Thanks. ideas. We love it. Great to see sure. you. And tell your family we said hi. We miss you. All right, so we do want to tell you about this. It's Herbalicious. It's a cooking class. It's happening Tuesday, September 29th, and you can register for that. It's happening in the morning from 11 until 1 in the afternoon, so you can check it out. And we're going to have all the information that Steph just shared with us about preserving your herbs on our website, fox8.com. We're back in two minutes with the top of the 9 o'clock hour. Don't miss it. Fox 8 Recipe Box is brought to you by Dean Supply.